The UK has a range of diverse landscapes. This video will provide you with an overview of the location of major upland and lowland areas and river systems in the UK. In geography, relief describes the physical features of the landscape, such as the height above sea level and steepness of the slopes. Relief depends greatly on geology or rock type. Relief maps use colour to show differences in the height of the landscape. In this example, light brown colours indicate where the upland regions of the British Isles are located. Green colours indicate lowland areas. Upland areas are high above sea level. They are often, but not always, mountainous. Lowland areas are not very high above sea level, and they are often flat. The Tees X line is an imaginary line between the River Tees in the northeast and the River X in the southwest. It helps us to describe where the upland and lowland regions are in the UK. To the north and west are the uplands of England, Wales, and Scotland. South and east of the line are the lowlands of central and southern England. You should try to be familiar with the names of upland regions in the UK. There are many named ones in the UK, but here are some of the major ones. There are the Northwest Highlands, the Grampian Mountains, and the Southern Uplands in Scotland. In England, there is the Lake District and the Pennines. In Wales, there are the Cambrian Mountains and the Brecon Beacons. Similarly, you should be familiar with the names of lowland regions. They include the Somerset Levels, East Anglia, the Fens, Lincolnshire, the Vale of York and Holderness. The UK has an extensive river system. There are close to 1,500 rivers in the UK. Obviously you aren't expected to know all of them. But the more you can identify, the better it is. Most rivers have their source in mountain ranges or hills and flow to the sea. Here are some of the major ones. In Scotland there is the Tay, the Forth and the Clyde. On the border of Scotland and England there is the Tweed. In England there is the Tyne and the Tees. The Swale, the Ouse, the Eyre, the Calder and the Trent are some of the rivers running into the Humber. The Humber estuary drains a catchment area of around 20% of the total land surface of England. In the west is the Mersey. The Severn is the UK's longest river, followed by the Thames. In Northern Ireland there is the Ban. Whilst they are not in the UK, it is a good idea to know some of the Republic of Ireland's rivers, such as the Shannon, the Barrow and the Blackwater. It is always a pleasure looking at maps. Spend some time spotting the names of other upland regions, lowlands and rivers. Thank you for watching.